Your eyes are not playing tricks on you. There's no pilot inside this helicopter. It's 2022, so let's face it, we're used to seeing all types of vehicles operate themselves. From cars to boats, drones, even motorcycles. But some people might say there's something a little ominous about seeing a military-grade helicopter flying without a pilot. This is part of a project from Lockheed Martin's subsidiary Sikorsky and DARPA. Now, if you're not familiar with DARPA, it's a research and development agency for the U.S. Department of Defense. And according to DARPA, this marked the first time a Black Hawk helicopter flew without anyone on board. It took off, flew for 30 minutes over a U.S. Army base in Kentucky before safely landing on its own. So what made this possible? It's called ALIAS, an acronym for Air Crew Labor in Cockpit Automation System. And to find out how it works, I caught up with Sikorsky's Director of Innovations, Igor Cherepinsky. The way you, you sort of program this machine isn't by putting in waypoints like you would with a drone. This isn't fly here, 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 and there. You're actually explaining mission. There's a, a language that was de developed where you're telling the aircraft, hey, I have a cargo mission and there's a set of cargo over here, and it's this kind of cargo, and it needs to end up over there, and this is when I need it. And then the aircraft goes out, figures out what the flight rules are, what the winds are, and shows you a plan to say, hey, here's how I would do this. And you, again, as a human being, have the final authority to modify it, but machines doing a lot, a lot of that, you know, intermediate thinking source thing for you. This is inherently what's known as a fly-by-wire system, where mechanical controls were completely removed from the aircraft, so even in pilot mode, the pilots are flying the same computer fuel that's flying the aircraft when no one's on board. And that makes this aircraft easy to fly. You know, I could teach you to fly this aircraft in 15 minutes. Now, Igor was very clear when I talked to him. This isn't any sort of artificial intelligence. The system relies on cameras, sensors, and algorithms to identify and then avoid obstacles. And this wasn't the first time we've seen Alias in action. DARPA demonstrated it last year in a supervised test with a safety pilot on board. Engaging autonomous auto start. Autonomous takeoff. So I had to ask a question that a lot of you are probably thinking. If helicopters can fly their own missions now, are we on a path to making pilots obsolete. Well, Igor pointed out a lot of what pilots do is more than just flying. Medevac pilots, right? They aren't just there to fly a helicopter. They're there to figure out how to get into, let's say, a crash scene and pick up a casualty. And that's creativity, right? That's understanding the, the context of what they're seeing, being able to understand, you know, level of emergency and other things. In that mission context, flying the actual machine should be uh, only, let's say, 10, 20 percent of what they do. Uh, what happens in reality, that percentage goes up as the environment gets worse, right? Rain, snow, bad weather, really complex, you know, traffic scenes. What trying to do is augment the pilot to the point where flying the aircraft is really only 10% of what they do, and 90% they're focused on the mission. Now, Igor says they've got more testing planned for this year and are looking at expanding alias to other aircraft. One of the places they see opportunities is firefighting, specifically at night when flying can be more difficult. And yes, Sikorsky is talking to the U.S. military to explore ways they can fit this tech onto military aircraft. But what do you think? Where do you think this technology can fit onto other vehicles? Let me know in those comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to CNET for more like it. I'm Andy Altman, and I will see you in the future.